Hi, I'm Diane Lester Hallam, the Chief Executive of Pharmacist Support. We're a charity whose purpose is to help pharmacists in need throughout their careers, from student years through their working lives and into retirement. Hi, I'm Mark Coziol, the Chairman of the Pharmacist Defence Association, the PDA. We're a defence association, a trades union. We're set up and run by pharmacists to support our members whenever they run into difficult situations. We provide legal defence and representation for pharmacists, pharmacy students and pre-regis. So you could say that although we're two very different independent organisations, we both perform similar roles and we're both driven by the same founding principles of supporting people within the pharmacy profession. So because of the nature of the work that we do, we know how easy it is for people's lives to change suddenly and often at a time and in ways in which they will least expect. Pharmacists may suddenly find out that a patient has complained about them and now they will be appearing in front of the GPHC. A pre-reg who's fallen out with their tutor is worried that their pre-reg year is now doomed or a student who's made a terrible error of judgement and is now accused of cheating in an exam. The charity provides a range of independent, free and confidential services to help people overcome challenging situations and is often the first port of call for support. We help people dealing with a range of difficult situations, both personal and professional, such as bereavement and relationship issues, bullying and workplace stress and illness, just to name a few. As people, we all have our own ways of coping, but sometimes the pressures we face can feel so overwhelming that our coping mechanisms simply aren't enough. This is when things can easily fall apart and have wider impacts on work, studies or relationships. So whether it is the PDA or pharmacist support, our mission is to help people who have fallen on difficult times. Although at the PDA we provide support to more than 5,000 pharmacists each year, on many occasions the process of finding oneself in a professionally difficult situation can be so upsetting that our members require more than just union workplace representation or legal defence in the face of a GPHC investigation. Sometimes they also need counselling or even rehabilitation. Frankly, they need the help of pharmacist support. So it's no surprise then that the relationship between the PDA and pharmacist support has been strong for many years. Often the PDA will refer its members in need of that extra pastoral support to the charity. Sometimes we find that even if they've been well supported by the PDA and have achieved a positive outcome, sadly the emotional aspects of their experience can impact on their confidence and self-esteem. So what drives our two organisations is a strong belief that a civilised society is one that looks after its weakest members. These may be pharmacists who have unexpectedly fallen on hard times, pre-regis or students who are worried about the final hurdle of their exams, or it may even be the dependent of a pharmacist who unexpectedly lost their pharmacist partner and is now in great financial difficulty. Pharmacist support was set up by pharmacists in 1841 with this specific intention in mind. As a charity, every year we support thousands of individuals and every year the numbers of people seeking help increases. Our support includes information and advice, financial support, addiction support, a stress helpline, bursaries to students who would otherwise not be able to maintain their studies, alongside a comprehensive range of training events and resources which equip people with the coping mechanisms to help people manage their resilience and look after their well-being. But all of this good work costs money and as a charity, we are entirely relying on the ongoing financial contributions made by pharmacists and pharmacy organisations. Well, that's a very valuable range of services that you provide, Diane, and that is why today I am very proud and delighted to announce that the PDA has decided to make pharmacist support our formal charity partner. So from now on, we will be donating one pound from every single membership fee to pharmacist support. And this represents an annual contribution of more than £27,000 this year alone. And as the PDA membership continues to grow in the future, so will our contribution. This means so much to pharmacist support and we're delighted to be working in partnership with the PDA to develop some specific support packages in priority areas where we both know that help is required. One of those areas is helping pharmacists to develop the skills needed to improve or establish more effective working relationships with colleagues and managers. Another is empowering pharmacists to recognise the signs and symptoms of stress in themselves and others and to have the confidence to reach out to them before things reach breaking point. Understanding how to identify the signs and knowing what can be done to help 
will result in more resilient and engaged individuals and teams. I'm sure, Mark, that pharmacists will attach a huge amount of value to these resources and we can't wait to get started on developing these together. I'm sure you're right about that, Diane. You know, we fully recognise that many pharmacists will already have their chosen charities to which they will make financial contributions. And that's entirely proper. For those pharmacists who wish to support this initiative themselves, however, on joining or renewing their PDA membership online, we will enable them to make direct additional donations to this very important cause if they wish to do so, on an entirely optional basis, of course. We're absolutely delighted by this news. None of us can predict what is around the corner, and unfortunately we can't always be prepared for what life has to throw at us. Every day we receive calls from people in a range of situations, and your donations will enable us to continue to be that much needed crutch and to change lives for the better. Do you know, I've always been proud to be a pharmacist, and throughout my career, I've always been motivated to help my professional colleagues, who may have found themselves in some form of difficulty. I passionately believe that it is enormously important for members of the profession to extend a hand to those within its ranks who are less fortunate than themselves. Many of us are the lucky ones. We may be healthy and happy. Perhaps we're in reliable employment. We may enjoy the support and the company of our family and friends. But you know, the same cannot be said for all our colleagues. So if enough of us work together, then through pharmacist support, surely we can make a big difference.